Elizabeth A. Mitchell is a Bible teacher, blogger, author, and speaker. She is also part of the leadership team of Boca Raton Community Church, serving alongside her husband Bill and an enormously talented staff. As part of the faculty of World Lead, she frequently travels overseas to train and mentor leaders involved in the nonprofit world. In her most recent book, Journey for the Heart, she describes the true story of her family's journey through the heartache and triumph of their son James's congenital heart disease that ultimately included a heart transplant and heartbreak. Undoubtedly, Elizabeth is happiest whenever she gets to be with her husband, their children and four grandchildren. No global adventure or ministry opportunity, no matter how spectacular, tops being with her family in South Florida. Connect with her, subscribe to her weekly devotional blog, or access her video Bible study, Finding Jesus in Your Story, at elizabethamitchell.com. Today she shares with us a beautiful piece she calls, Not So Much. I will bless the Lord at all times. His praise shall continually be in my mouth. My soul makes its boast in the Lord. Let the humble hear and be glad. This comes from Psalm 34 verses 1 and 2. Some mornings the birds sing a bright tune. Their cheerful sounds synchronize perfectly to my mood. The sun stretches out its arms across the horizon, tumbles from the white sheets of clouds, and wraps itself around the morning in a gigantic hug. Sleep brought gallons of sweetness with it, and I rise to meet the day's demands with a bushel of energy in each productive step. Other days, not so much. When sleep is an elusive wrestle, my fuel gorge registers empty. Dissonance is the sound at the window pane, and boulders are somehow stacked inside my chest. The sun is barely awake, cowering in a soggy grey towel. Wherever did that gurgling brook go, the splashing of sparkling water skipping over small smooth rocks? Why am I left immersed in brackish, stagnant concerns? Some days, I sprint toward the word and bask in God's delightful presence, lingering long, learning lots. The scriptures supply comfort, challenge me to pursue new dreams, to run and not be weary, to walk and not faint. The words almost elevate off the page, focus my attention, instruct me in the way to go, while making me acutely aware that his protection rests over me. Other days, not so much. Sometimes the passage in front of me mimics a repetitive chorus I've heard before, but can't quite place. I stare at the dry morsels that seem like hard to swallow gravel. Each moment at the table begs distractions. I easily succumb and turn instead to more tolerable portions of junk food. Perhaps tomorrow will hold the promise of hope brimming with possibilities beyond my present understanding. Today the choice before me is to still praise God right where I find myself, to lift my face to His, even beneath overcast shadows. I will choose to place one unsteady foot in front of the other, since part of His plan has always included the difficult and unmanageable. A daily dose of easy was never the guarantee. O oh God, you are my God, earnestly I seek you. My soul thirsts for you, as in a dry and weary land where there is no water. So I will bless you as long as I live. In your name I will lift up my hands. My soul will be satisfied, as with fat and rich food, and my mouth will praise you with joyful lips. For you have been my help, and in the shadow of your wings, I will sing for joy. Dear friends, I believe we can all associate with the highs and lows of life, the ups and downs of our emotions, the too much and not so much of our daily lives. Therefore, may we be afresh encouraged by Elizabeth's writing and especially by the timeless words of David when he was in the desert of Judah, as recorded in Psalm 63, which Elizabeth quotes at the end.